Today I'm going to be showing you how to configure recording on your MyDLN camera network video recorder, the DNR202L. Now in order to configure recording, we need to log into the configuration interface of the DNR. I'm going to go ahead and do that. If you're not sure how to do that, please check out our video for logging into it. Now once you've logged into the configuration interface, you'll actually notice by default that all the cameras are recording. So by default, out of the box, when you first set it up, the cameras are configured to record automatically. If you wanted to change this and maybe set it up for a schedule, which we're gonna go through, what you could do is you can click this button here, which is the manual record button. We're gonna click that to stop all the recording. From there, we're gonna click on the setup tab at the top. And on the left-hand side, we're gonna click on event setup. In the event setup section here, you'll see a, a section for your email account. In this section here, you can enter in all your email account information and specify certain triggers below in the event section. This will allow you to get notifications when certain criteria is met, such as if motion is detected, if there's a digital input trigger, or if the camera signal is lost, like if the camera gets disconnected. Now for both motion and the DI trigger, your camera must support both of these features, and these features must also be already configured on the camera. The DNR202L doesn't control anything with the motion detection or anything with the digital input trigger. All of that is sent from the camera. So in order for the motion detection or the digital input trigger to work, you would first need to configure these settings on the camera itself. But what we're gonna focus on here is the recording schedule. So what I'm going to do here is enable the recording schedule and you'll see that you can select what days of the week that you want and also the time. So if you wanna always just record, if you wanna record 24 seven, you can just specify always. Otherwise, if you only want to record based on certain days of the week and in certain times, you can specify that here also. But again, I'm just gonna specify it for always and you're going to just click on the save settings button at the top. Now, if you are going to schedule recording based on specific days and specific times, you wanna make sure that you go into the date and time section and set the date and time accordingly. If the wrong date and time is set, then your recordings aren't gonna happen when you want. So you wanna make sure that this shows the accurate time. And then again, we can click back on the live video tab and you'll notice that all the cameras are recording again. For more helpful videos, please check out support.dlink.ca.